I am here to strengthen and encourage you. Enemy does not want me to do this video, but I'm going to do it. I just got out of spiritual warfare. And as soon as I came out of it, I was led to write down everything that I did and to share it with you. I want you to know that you're seen by God. Because if I went through the spiritual warfare for you, that's good enough for me. So this is what I did that helped me to come out of the spiritual warfare of ruminating thoughts. And I know for a fact that this will also help someone who's having thoughts of depression and anxiety and suicidal thoughts. These thoughts that keep going in your mind, running, 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 going over and over and over again. Whoever this is for, I pray that you hear what the Spirit wants to say to you. First scripture, Jeremiah 29, 11. And for each scripture, I'm going to, I'm going to look down because I want to make sure I read verbatim what God's voice is saying for you. Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not evil, to give you an expected end. Too many times we allow these thoughts to go and run rapid in our mind without even realizing, even thinking, stepping back and saying, wait a minute, where are these thoughts coming from? These thoughts aren't coming from my father. These thoughts are not coming from the Lord because these thoughts are not giving me peace. These thoughts are not good for me. Jeremiah 29 says that the thoughts that the Lord has towards you are of peace and not of evil to bring you to an expected end. So just know, do not allow the thoughts that come in your mind to take over. You must take authority over it. Now, usually when I pray in the morning, I pace. I could not do that this morning because my mind was so loud and the ruminating thoughts that I needed to stand still. I needed to stand flat footed in the warfare. Next scripture, Luke 10, 19. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you. You stand in authority. You stand in authority. If your mind is running and it's moving, you make your body, you make this flesh be in subjection to God's word and you stand and you get still. Now, Jeremiah 29, 11, he already gave you peace. So you stand still. He gave you peace, even in warfare. If that wasn't for somebody, that was for me. He gave you peace to stand in warfare. So you stand flat footed with God's word protecting you. So you stand in authority that Jesus already gave you. The same authority he already gave you in the beginning when he created the earth. He gave you dominion. He gave you the, the power to be fruitful and multiply and subdue the enemy under your feet. Next one, next scripture, Jeremiah 17, seven and eight. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord and whose hope the Lord is. For he shall be as a tree planted by the waters and that spreadeth out her roots by the river and shall not see when he cometh, but her leaf shall be green. And shall not be careful in the year of drought, neither shall cease from yielding fruit. You stand flat footed like a huge oak tree. And you pray and you worship. You stand with peace as a tree planted by the water. You spread the roots of the word of God around you. You spread the power of his word under you to keep you firm and flat footed. Next one, target the battlefield. What is the attack? 
He knows. Your opponent knows. You should know. You should know the reason for this warfare. 2 Corinthians 10, 3 and 5. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. So you're going to cast down the imaginations, the ruminating thoughts, the depressive thoughts, the anxious thoughts. You're going to cast them down and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Against the knowledge of God that God told you in Jeremiah 29, 11, that his thoughts toward you are of peace and not evil. And bring into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. The next one, worship music. Usually when I get up in the morning, I play like soft worship and prayer music to get me together because I'm just trying to get up in the morning. This morning was not that morning. The spirit knew before I even woke up. No, you need to go right into warfare music. And that's what I did. So I, I was flipping through my list and it was till I found one song. Ugh. And it's called Amazing. That song, the woman is singing all scriptures. All scriptures. So I woke up in warfare. Jeremiah 29, 11. The next one, I had to take authority over my body, take authority of my mind. Jeremiah 17, 7 and 8. Know the target of your battlefield. 2 Corinthians 10, 3 through 5. So we are speaking. We are speaking God's word in this warfare. We're not allowing this to keep going on in our mind. We're not just going along with it. We're not allowing it. Submit to God, resist the devil. And he will flee from you. Submit to God. Resist the devil. And he will flee from you. The next one. Stand firm. Again, you are the tree and you're standing firm. You are to stand firm on God's word. You stand firm on it. Ephesians 6, 10 through 18. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth and having on a breastplate of righteousness and your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherein ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. I'm going to read 18 and 19 because I feel like many people don't go this far. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit, capital S, the Holy Spirit, and watching there unto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Verse 19, and for me that the utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. Stand firm. Put on the armor as you're standing there. Put on the helmet. Protect your heart. Protect your loins. Again, back to the tree. You spread out your roots. That's the word of God that is under your feet. You tighten up. You strap up the boots of peace that he already said that he gave you in Jeremiah 11. You stand on your identity of who you are in Christ. You stand in who you are created to be. Because in 19, I'll read it again. And for me, that utterance may be given to me that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. He knew who he was. He knew that God called him to spread the gospel. Know who you are. 
you cast down the imagination that's trying to tell you that you are weak, that you won't make it, that God left you. They must submit and come into alignment of God's word. So you stand flat footed. In Jeremiah 29, 11, in Luke 10, 19, in Jeremiah 17, 7 and 8, in 2 Corinthians 10, 3 through 5, in Ephesians 6, 10 through 19. I hope my experience this morning encourages you and strengthens you and reminds you who you are and know that you are not alone. We are out here fighting, y'all. But the battle is not ours. It is the Lord's. It is the Lord's. And the Lord got your back. And he has my back. It's early in the morning. And I'm trying not to be all loud. <laughs> People are still asleep. But I love you. I hope this blesses you. Today is the day that the Lord has made. You, I will rejoice and be glad in it. And we will walk in the authority that God has given us to trample every spirit, every serpent that try to come against you in mind and in body. Know who you are. Be empowered this morning and I will see you later.